Back in the savanna, the food has a habit of moving right into the predator's turf. When wildebeest and zebra follow the rains in search of fertile grass, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. Water buffalo and giraffe are the biggest meals. They take a lot of effort. But if you can get one of these, you can rest for a few days before going out again to hunt. Savannah lions have honed different hunting skills depending on the prey and the specific conditions. There's the solo hunt, easier when prey is small. The coordinated ambush for bigger prey. The all-out blitz. For prey that fights back. Notice anything? These are all ladies. <gasps> the big males make a contribution and possess crucial skills. Such as perfecting the art of the nap. It's not his fault. He's hot with all that extra fur and bulk. He does take a few jobs seriously, though, like defending the pride against intruders and joining in a hunt when his bulk is needed. But he's not the best tactician. Hiding his heft doesn't always work. Strategy, stealth, and speed are left to the experts. Today, one of the best super pride hunters is tantalized by zebra. But zebra possess keen senses and defenses. They use their powerful back legs against friend and foe alike. Lions and zebras can both reach top speeds up to 35 miles per hour. But the zebra can run for longer. The lioness combines power and speed, but she lacks endurance. She can only run at her top speed for about 300 feet. So she needs to get close and surprise her prey. Lioness gets a chokehold, but the male zebra weighs twice as much. Reinforcements from the super pride add their power to the struggle. No pecking order exists among the cubs at the carcass. Each lion fights for its own share. Competition can be intense even in a normal pride. Twelve teenagers jostle for position at the kill. As they grow, so do their appetites. 